Hello everyone, good afternoon. It's only me, Connor, Connor500, here for our bi-monthly statistics update. We're going through the 1st up until the 15th. We'll do the first half of the month and then we'll settle the second half at the end of the month. I will say this, I would take any tipster statistics with a massive pinch of salt, more than a pinch of salt, because they're so, so easy to manipulate. They they easily are. Any Anyone could, could have an amazing statistics page just by tipping up market movements and, and not noticing if they shorten up by the time the video's done. Be very careful. Anyway, total stake for the first half of the month was £10,300. And we've got a total return of £22,090. That's a total profit of £11,790, which is a return on investment of 114%. That's the most important thing in the statistics, the return on investment. It really is. Return on investment, the most important one. That consists of golf, which is £6,820, and horses, which is £4,970. We'll go through day by day. Like I said, I try to keep it as fair as possible. I use Skybet terms. Occasionally, I'll take a little bit worse than Sky. So that means I'm not getting bog on handicaps um, and a few other rules. Just so you know, that's where I'm coming from with it. And you can check that. I'm going to go through every single day on the statistics. If any, you know, because hopefully someone's checking up on me here. I would imagine out of the 1,300 people, one person's got to check up on me. And that's a good thing because you should check up on your tipster. Take everything with a pinch of salt, honestly, especially in racing. Right, without any further ado, the first of the month. Oh, sorry, before I say this, we've got a carried over golf loss. From last month, there was a golf tournament which hadn't quite finished. And we've carried over the loss of 1,000 and the stake of 1,000. I don't forget about it, honestly. I'm an honest man and I've carried over the golf loss. The way I do it, if the golf goes over one month to the next, okay, say if the golf tournament starts and finishes in the same month, I'll calculate it on the starting day. But if a golf tournament starts and then finishes in a different month, I'm going to calculate it on the second month. Does that make sense? Right, the first we the first of this month we had a stake of one thousand with a profit of nine hundred and twenty. The second we had a stake of three hundred with a profit of two thousand two hundred and forty. The third we had a stake of one thousand with a profit of three thousand four hundred and thirty. The fourth we've got a stake of five hundred with a loss of five hundred. The fifth we've got no bet for the horses, and we've got golf stake five hundred profit of seven thousand. 820. The 6th of October, we've got a stake of 300 and profit of 70. Bear in mind, in these profit and losses, I'm not including the returns on top. That's why I'm listing it as a profit or a loss. The 7th of October, a stake of 500, a profit of 1,110. The 8th of October, we've got a stake of 1,000 and a loss of 780. The 9th, we've got a stake of 1,100 and we've got a loss of 930. The 10th, we've got a stake of 500 and a loss of 460. The 11th, we've got a stake of 500 and a profit of 320. The 12th, we've got a stake of 500 and a loss of 360. The 13th, we've got a stake of 500 and a loss of 250. The 14th, 500 staked and a profit of 260. And the 15th was a stake of 500 and a loss of 100. Like I always say, be careful, take everything with a pinch of salt. Whether that's my tips, whether that's any tips in the world, always take it with a pinch of salt. Do your own statistics. Um, I hope you all have a lovely, lovely Sunday evening. I'm not going to say too much else today. I'm just going to get myself a takeaway and have a quiet night. Take care.